Reneus is a brave little engine who enjoys working in the mountains on the island of Sodor. Even though he is little, Reneus loves feeling like a really useful engine. One day, the fat controller came to see Reneus. I have a very important job for you, he boomed. An important job, cried Reneus. Oh, thank you, sir. You are to take some children up into the mountains. You must make sure they have a wonderful time and are back in time for their tea. Yes, sir, said Reneus, but he was worried. He wasn't sure he was good enough to make the trip special. When Reneus arrived at the station, the children and their teacher were waiting on the platform. How can I make the children's day really special? He said to Rusty. You know the mountains better than any engine, said Rusty. But Reneus wasn't sure his best would be exciting enough. He felt like a very little engine indeed. The fat controller had told Reneus' driver to point out all the beautiful sights along the way. This is Sodor Castle, called his driver. It's very special and important. Reneus saw the castle every day. He didn't think it was special or important. I must think of something exciting to do, he puffed to himself. This is Valley View, said his driver. And here's the viaduct. Reneus was still unhappy. The trip didn't seem wonderful to him at all. Must be special, must be special, he puffed. Meanwhile, Rusty was working on the rocky ridge line. Heavy rains had washed the ground from under the tracks. These lines are too bumpy and uneven, said the foreman. The tracks must be closed for repairs. Reneus was still trying to think of something that would make the children's trip special. He didn't know that the linesman had forgotten to switch the points. Suddenly, Reneus was on the wrong track. Oh no, this line is closed for repairs. Bust my buffers, chuffed Reneus. Be careful, cried Rusty. The tracks are very bumpy. Reneus whooshed down the mountain like a roller coaster. The children cheered. Reneus puffed up the rocky ridge with all his might. His carriage clattered and bumped and bounced along behind. And the children oohed and ahed. Reneus chuffed and puffed as hard as he could. He steamed across the trestle bridge. He was going so fast the teacher nearly lost her hat. Reneus splashed under a waterfall. The children laughed happily. And the teacher covered her eyes. At last they could see the station. Reneus was very tired and worried. What would the fat controller say? Phew, said the teacher, just in time for tea. It was the best school trip ever, cried the children. The fat controller wasn't cross with Reneus. He was happy too. You gave the children a wonderful trip. You really are a very useful engine. Oh, thank you, sir, puffed Reneus proudly. Reneus didn't feel like a little engine anymore. <laughs> <laughs>